Hi, I'm Bob German, and this video will help you get started managing Microsoft Teams applications as a Microsoft Teams administrator. Before we start, let's just take a look at apps from an end user's point of view. Here I am logged in as a regular user. And you'll see there's a ton of apps here that I can install if I just click apps on the sidebar. And you'll also notice that they all seem to be from Microsoft and I'll explain that in just a moment. Now, uh, here's an app that I can install. It's a math app. I could install it into a team, a chat, a meeting, or just install it for my own use, which we'll put it over here in the sidebar or under the dot, dot, dot in the left sidebar. So this really wants me to solve an expression. So I'll type a math expression. And then let's go in and add another little math problem for it. And we can solve that and it should plot those two equations for us. So that works great. Another thing I could do here in apps is click manage my apps. And if I wanted to, I could upload an app to my organization. That's one of the custom apps. And what I would be uploading here is a zip package, which contains the information that Microsoft Teams needs to display the application. And that would kick off a workflow where my administrator could approve or decline my use of that application. Before we go any further, let's just talk about three different kinds of apps. There are Microsoft apps, which are sometimes called first party apps. Obviously those come from Microsoft. Um, there are third party apps, which are part of a whole app store, the Microsoft Teams app store. And then there's custom apps, which is where you can upload apps for use inside of your organization, uh, specific to just your tenant. Now let's shift gears and log in as an administrator and see how we could manage these things. So I'm going to start off in Microsoft uh, 365 Admin Center, go down to the Teams Admin Center, and I'll click on Manage Apps. So you'll notice that inside here there are a ton of apps and they're mostly all blocked. Um, actually, if I look, you can see the Microsoft ones are allowed, but the others are blocked. And there's a brand new tenant. I'm going to start off by enabling third-party apps org-wide. It doesn't mean all the apps will be uh, enabled. That actually is done by a policy setting, but I'm just going to enable them at all and also custom apps so that I can work with apps in my organization. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now um, let's go ahead and allow people to use um, the Clovers app, which is just the first one on the, the list here. So I don't know too much about it, but for demo purposes, I'll just go ahead and allow that. Must be good with a name like Clovers, right? And okay, there we go. Also, if my user had submitted something, um, that would be here under Submitted Custom Apps, and I could review that and decide whether I wanted to approve that as well. I could also click the Upload button at this point to upload my own custom application for use within this organization. The next thing we can do is create something called a permission policy. And this allows a certain set of users permission to use certain apps. And for the three different types of apps, there are different alternatives. I can allow all the apps of that category. I can allow specific apps and block all the others, block specific apps and allow all the others, or simply block the entire category. So um, that's how I can go ahead and uh, manage these apps based on policies. And then I can come in and actually uh, add users to that policy so that maybe everybody in a certain job role gets a certain app. I can also come in here and manage setup policies. Now, the first thing here is uh, upload custom apps. This would allow me to uh, upload apps directly as an end user. Um, this is great in developer scenarios where you're using the Teams developer um, portal to upload apps directly. Um, I can also allow users to pin their applications to the sidebar, which is very handy for users. And I can also come here and proactively install applications for users. So for instance, let's suppose that math is really important in my company. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that math application for everyone. Just kind of install it so they don't have to figure out about the app store or any of that stuff. And that's it. Now it's installed. But if I want to make it more discoverable, I can also proactively pin it to the left uh, navigation inside of my users um, teams. So I can go ahead and do that and actually decide where it would be on the nav bar. Uh, note, by the way, on the mobile app, these are on the bottom. Um, but anyway, this, this allows me to 
anybody now who this policy applies to will have these apps installed and pinned for them. So all they have to do is click. The last thing I can do as an admin is I can come in and customize the app store um, with my own logo. So maybe you just, rather than it looking like it's a part of Microsoft Teams, you wanna have your company name there, you can go ahead and do that um, on this screen. So that's it, thanks very much for watching.